welcome the fuck back, I guess. Hey, that was the start. Uh, you don't have to say what welcome back. Uh, no, uh, well, welcome the fuck back. A conversation. Uh, welcome back, I guess. Uh, 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 okay, <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the start right there. Everything else before that is gonna get welcome, cut out. Welcome, no, fuck that was the worst opening yet. <laughs> it was the best opening. Anyway, right? hey, you I have, you have, I have decided in to openings. My practice. anime openings list is better than yours, okay? <laughs> we need, yeah, we really need to commission someone to make us, like, a really cool... Anime you know, opening. <laughs> but I want it to, I want okay, to be live Okay, I which one of us action. would be running with pigeons flying behind <laughs> yeah, us? Like, you know, no, no, we have, we, to do, we have to do it all in live action. We're, like, doing this in, like, a public park. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like Naruto no running. <laughs> <with that fucking>. <laughs> 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 we should actually do that. That sounds so no sada. Anyway, I have taken upon myself to practice off-screen, and I've been... Beat this guy. I beat this guy once, and I almost beat him a good couple of times. Sam, actually, he was like, it was like that scene in um, where like it just zooms in and it starts like like scanning every little thing on screen and all the frames, <laughs> counting every little frame. And Sam was just like, got away right there, dude. Gotta, that's where that is, that there. is it. You and have like, the most God. optimal chance of survival in this really, position. I have played so many Metroidvanias. This is just what reminds yeah. me of the raid fight. It, it, so it is very I have used my logic to me. deduce the correct location. So I'll probably die a couple times because no matter how good you are, you're never going to be 100% at a boss. Yeah, yeah well, the fucking oh, thing that oh, the potion the potion out this boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll get it. No, I like leaving the empty one equipped. We were joking about unavoidable damage. But this guy literally. is like the final boss in Marvel vs. Capcom. But literally, he has unavoidable damage. Yeah, in order to hit him in the face, you must take damage in the face. Not so good. And you're taking a two, like, I don't, you're trying one to out of three him. chance that you're actually going to hit him in the face. Because the hitbox is so small. Yeah, see, that's too high. I can't hit his eyes. His eyes are too high for his face. You gotta hit him in the mouth. You gotta gotta hit him it. directly you in the mouth. gotta stuff it down his throat. Wow, yeah. I was not paying attention to my health, not gonna lie. See, I told you, you can't talk to me. Oh, you can, yeah, I Whoa, believe in him. what happened to my SNES there? <laughs> Why did that text just pop up? <laughs> oh, so do we, wait, we were talking about, uh, fucking, oh yeah, GTA Chiefs. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you said it was a DLC book. Oh, okay, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, uh, only old men, only fucking yep. millennials can, can know that, what, what happened? Uh, Only fucking story. millennials can, uh, know this. Look, I, I ain't fucking cheating, okay? I beat him correctly. If we and wanted that's all to cheat, we would show up with the ultimate card. Right? Yeah, I could just go to the main menu, put in a password, and get the ultimate final, true final form. We're, we are real I'm OGs an elite here. gamer. We're, and I'm yeah. very good at this game. Very good. Exploit. 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 What the fuck? Were you trying to make a point about GTA cheats? Or did you just oh, want to bring GTO, them up? GTA cheats. Um, well, one thing I wanted to say is I remember GTA 3 something like the big ass tank, the rhino tank turning the cannon around. Yeah. And using it as you nitrous. Yeah. yeah, cause you would just launch yourself. Yeah, because it would it actually adds momentum. GTA to the 3 was fucking cool. Dude, I want you know, you know what you I know, love one about? Thing, that's another thing we should add. We oh. should get a GTA 3, put it put it on an emulator or something. Or no, you can get it on There's PC, a Steam think, version, but the Steam version kind of sucks. Well, so the thing is, it's one of the cheats. Um, I wanted to just go from the start of the game, turn it with cheats on, but you turn on chaos mode, and we don't play the game. We just try and get from one side yeah. of the city to the other without fucking getting annihilated. <laughs> but yeah, cause like... Do you know what chaos mode does? Well, like, isn't oh. that the one where the cars? Like... All the civilians will attack all things. They'll they're immediately ultimate aggro, and they spawn with random weapons. Yeah. So they can just spawn with rocket launchers, grenades, just SMGs, running. and they'll shoot whoever's nearest them. So, so you have to make it from. And what people will say, well, how are you going to get across the bridge? You can turn on flying cars. In GTA 3? Yes, you can turn on flying cars. I did not know that. Well, flying cars is more like your car is on ice and it flies like it's from fucking, like, Harry Potter. Oh. Because the <laughs> higher speed you get when you hit an edge, it will it removes gravity instead of flying cars. So you start going yeah, up, and then you kind of have to bounce off of something to go back down. You'll slowly glide. It's not flying cars, it's gliding cars. Yeah. Imagine your car just deploys wings and you have to get off the ground. Yeah, and then. But and enemy. Then... But in all NPCs randomly spawn with fucking nukes and guns and grenades. <laughs> Cops, eventually your meter will go up and police right. will start coming after you. They won't make it. They will not make it. <laughs> they'll just ten they'll feet die. Of you. They'll start driving. <laughs> <laughs> I loved this idea of just like turn on chaos mode and try and make it to the other islands. <laughs> like try and make it through the whole city like a lap. You know, I'm going to show a bit of my zoomer but, badge here. Uh, first time I ever beat or even really played GTA 3 in any major aspect was the iOS version. Oh my god! It was not a terrible uh, no port. Yeah, oh, I can yeah. take one more hit of. 
No, you but can't. If he hits you with the uh, laser. Yeah. The no, it's, the it, if He's I got touched armor. him, I think I would be dead there. <laughs> but the other thing we were saying is that all that used to be cho stored in cheap books in like yeah. the early 2000s, late 90s. And you'd buy these cheap books and it'd be like, Star Wars Battlefront 2, if you do this or this, you can't you could... Remember when some of them were just wrong? Yeah, and they were just that... flat out bullshit. You pay like $12 Even, uh, even official stock. publications would fall for those fucking video game myths that people would make up. Well, there was no real, the internet hadn't matured. Yeah, well you couldn't fact forms. check a lot of this stuff. This is why, I, this is also a reason I think we weren't ready for the advent of the internet, because fact-checking has gone so far that people now believe rumors that state to be fact over facts that state to be, that people believe are rumors. Like, there's so much of this fact-checking, um, what is it, this fact-checking subculture that people are creating rumors that everyone believes to be facts over that, and it's such a flood of information that you can't fact-check the fact-check the fact-check. Yeah, and it's this turtles all the way down thing. But the, the thing I was getting at is now... I was now, talking more about Shadow of the Colossus, Secret Final Boss, working... Oh, July that boss fucking sucks. I, I really, everybody remembers that boss. When it, they which play one, Shadow you, which one are you talking about? Shadow of the Colossus is the, the secret boss. The uh, one where you can fight it, you actually do everything in the game. What secret boss? What the fuck what? are you talking about? Oh, you don't know about the secret boss? <laughs> oh... Explain this to me right okay. now. There is a secret boss. If you beat everything and you get the legendary sword, there is a boss you can fight. Don't you fight the are temple itself? About? Yep. You fight the temple. What? You yeah. didn't know you could fight the temple? <laughs> Dude, okay, okay. The temple where is... you sacrifice all the titans, like, lifts up into the sky and it starts moving. You have okay. to jump from part so... to part and climb up to the top and stab the temple. You and the te on the How temple... the fuck did I not know about that? Because I love that secret. fucking game. Because I played it multiple times. Okay, it's you, a, you know a secret. Dude, it was he, okay. a game informer. Here's a reason why I didn't believe it. Because my older brother told me that if you get to the top of the castle, into that secret garden area, you know... There's a final b secret boss up there, and there wasn't. You had to get I everything. Spent you had to get everything. so much time you going up there. You had to get everything, including the secret soul. God. I didn't know about that for years, and that's you one of my all-time favorite when games. It, dude, it, when you do that, we should let you we fight that. Play that's, that'd be boss. fucking yeah, awesome. I love Shadow There's so many remasters. There's a PS4 remaster. It looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, it has great, great music. It's great. Like, it, it really remastered the music. So the thing that we could do is let you do that, and then you have to fucking be glaring at Yes. Give me that. <laughs> Give it to me. You've lost your privileges. <laughs> privileges? He puts it... He just leaves shit on the board. I'm like, oh. And that's free reign for you to mess with my things. <laughs> Are you... You... You know who I am. <laughs> you, you've met me. You know me. <laughs> How can you... But, How can uh, you forget one of the most basic facts? The thing that I was saying was that nowadays you have a fucking uh, DLC guidebook or... Or, no, premium... What is it? It would be a guidebook on the uh, the version yeah. of the game. You'd have to pre-order to get all of the oh, things you want. Oh yeah, those Ubi, you know, those Ubisoft Assassin's Creed and shit. Those yeah, are the like, like pointless Prima guides. Shit. Those guides were just no. Like, they don't even want to get the old. They aren't even guides anymore. They're, they're just like, do you want to collect all the scrolls? Four ninety nine. No, 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 like, no. Like we're talking about. Now. We're talking about, like, the, uh, the, the normal edition, the champion edition, oh, the legendary that, yeah. edition, the ultimate, and all of them have, and like, they different all have things, to have it's a spreadsheet of, Yeah, I, of I really hate that, because I love, like, Collecting. little extra things. Oh, fuck. I love alternate costumes and stuff oh, like fuck. that. Like, okay, I didn't appreciate The Witcher 3, but I'd say CD Projekt Red at Digital oh. Extremes are some of the highest, okay, yeah. I didn't, Green like, I played a bit of Witcher It's not my I style never played it. it's a good game. It's not my style. Like I'm sure it's fantastic. I've never played yeah. it. I, I played the start of it, but you know what? I bet if I got deeper into it, I'd probably fall Which in. Is, it gets yeah. good after what, didn't you like seven about hours. It? Yeah, I bet it does. Just like what, what, One Piece after like six it? seasons, it gets like good. It? <laughs> yeah. I okay. Um, after playing playing games like Warframe, Fable, Dynasty Warriors, and especially like Kingdom of Paradise, I do like one button combat, and I hate how they try and shake it up. It's just like, oh, you press one button all the time, you'll so get bad. bored, and it's just like, oh yeah, but in, in Witcher, just it's like... make other systems to make it, and they're just like, no, you got to make these systems that are like you have to stun enemies with runes that they're weak to, and then and block with other runes, and it's just like. See, the position you need to be, there's a platform that keeps wanna... getting in your way. Yeah, because it, it'll start pushing me forward. Like, wait, can you shit. turn left immediately? Yeah. You can tell. Then shoot it. Shoot the platform that's coming towards no, you. No, like, the, the I thing won't, is, I'm, I'm too he, high like, for it. There is, well. like, this yeah, centimeter his... of space where the platform will pass under you. But it's, uh, it, it, the, the, his breath hitbox is smaller than his body. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to. So I that, just, that I just need to embrace it. When I see it, I need to go left and just 
jump over as quick as I can. almost dead. Yeah, I, I'm doing better than I thought for my first try. You know, I can't tell fucking colors. Yeah. Oh, red, he's kind of orange. The yeah. turning red was is not the best damage indicator. Yeah, it's not good. I, that's because, why I hate like, I can't tell, like, are they just like that, or... Like, yeah, are they just... I think he's gonna breathe soon. Yeah, he is. There is a pattern to the platforms, and it's too complicated to explain. I just kind of played it enough <laughs> that I, I kind oh, of yeah, have no, an I educated guess. Yeah, very close. Let me in. Let me in! Open the oh, gates! You hit him. I'm, I'm pretty close to dead, too, though. Then you're out of potions. Oh, that was it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. First that try. Was easy. I did my first try. I, all that talk about Tessa, I was just trying to be modest, but you know what? I mean, I'm, did the lava just turn to ice? Yeah. yeah. Or did you freeze? Time? I, I guess so. Dude, yeah, you can did. move in this screen. No. You turned around. Did yeah. you? Did, did Firebrand turn his back as he was dying? Like, <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. fucking, so like a cool. fucking anime, like an explosion behind. The guy's dying. Like, uh, same and he just turned around same and like, ending in the last time. Fireband pushes up his glasses as he turns his back to the guy as he dies, just like his uh, no, his glasses are all whited out, so you can't see his eyes behind it. <laughs> 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 we were just we were playing. They were playing. I wish that happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I was like fucking sick. Like, I wish I could fucking master the ability yeah. to just like turn my head a certain way. No, it's like shit. Oh my god. Did you imagine like in their in their fucking pen uh. pocket they have like an LED light that blasts up at their face <laughs> and it just reflects off their glasses? Yeah. They, they have this whole thing planned where it's just like. Shing. <laughs> you thought you could see my eyes? Sick! You are fooled! And you now, are I, fooled just, now I look I automatically 20 times cooler. Hey, this part's all new. We get a, we get a new ending. You're gonna attack the now sky? Now that we saw the other... God! Ending. Come and face me! I'm pretty I can sure this is the true ending here. <laughs> Because there's the bad can ending, you, can you, the other one. Is the bad ending the first ending? Yeah, the one that we didn't like, get. Fucking demons so we all go the way to the, the angels yeah, and we just don't like, have to do that. All the way to the clouds, and they just yelled at the angels Dude, through the clouds. There's an actual music video that I really like called the uh, White Flag. Oh yeah. But it's actually really okay. We should watch it because it really gives me kind of a little bit of Demons Crest vibes, and it's really fucking cool. It has more um, Scott Pilgrim kind of sprites, right? But it's a video game cut, like a whole video game scene kind of like this Satan flies up to God to apologize and he gets cast down <laughs> he's it in his Super Saiyan cool. 2 form you can tell because of the energy around him it would be a simple <laughs> thing to use it to reign no he's a good guy for some reason to reign it was never really explained supreme but he's a good guy I mean, supreme when, dude he's shilling for supreme <laughs> when we first By the when we first met this situation. guy he was yeah. looking for ultimate power he was collecting all the crests right and now that he gets them what is he? He's like, nah. He's, he just, he tosses all of his little rock candies off the cliff. And just to go to another bad guy. Wow, congratulations. This sir. part, I believe, is new. Like, all the little, we get little, uh, a miracle will boxes happen. here for all the crests. They Super explain Sonic. what they do. <laughs> Super soft. Fabulous firebrand. <laughs> we do get another ultimate form after this. You after the last time we the Ultra Blast. I dare. Where's my phone? I have the. I already have the code. It's over there, I think. Yeah, he's yeah. Just, like, this is just it's so dumb. Uh, it's like, I know. Like, the, whole game, the whole game was about him fucking, like, stopping a powerful guy with those. And, and this is how like, Obama got the chaos them off the He just throws them off, <laughs> off a cliff, waiting for some leper to fucking find him on the side of the road. And go all fucking, like, second foundation on their ass. What's that? Oh, fucking, uh. In Isaac Asimov's book, Second Foundation. Like, I just, tried to read those a couple times. They're good. The, Fucking, like, this donkey, like, mule man, who's, like, a half-breed, who, like, got made fun of all his life, gets, like, the ultimate power and becomes, like, God. <laughs> yeah. I, some, I'm, I'm not, I'm so, not, like, that's like, exactly uh, what that is. That's yeah. exactly what he does. He's, like, someone just threw the fucking Chaos Emeralds and, like, some, like, donkey mule, like, demon man is gonna, like, take over. I'm not, like, a molecularly pea-brained <laughs> low IQ individual or anything. <laughs> I've tried reading those books and I just can't get into it. Some books... Some books just are I can I can read Lovecraft, oh, yeah. but 2001 A Space Odyssey? Uh, Fuck you! Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien is like... Oh, yeah. Like, so there's this thing I, where... It like, is like, I can, the it is, content it is like, of books is important and interesting and you can see that these, like, fucking big brain... But I think... I was having this conversation with Bri earlier, like, he questions why I try and be creative when I'm so logically brain, like, 
logic brain. <laughs> Why I try, you try and think your way through things so often, and I'm just like. Yeah, that's a problem. It's really a huge problem I have with characters is I always try and think of why they are that way instead instead of trying to feel my way through it, understand how they be emotionally. And I can kind of get that now because I've read, like, Tolkien, who's just so fucking droning. Yeah. And I've started to read, who is it, Sher Nyan, his uh, book The Water Margin? Yeah. Fuck off! <laughs> the first chapter has you switch between four characters. You know, actually, yeah, uh, the and Tolkien they've books never are, gone uh... back to them. Like it starts with Guosi, no, uh, Guosai or something, and then you go to Wan Jing, and then you go to Shi Jin, and then you go to Lu Wu. No, uh, Lu Wu. No, not Lu Wu. He's like a uh, fucking Lu Wu. Lu Lu, Lu Bua or something. He's this big Dong Zhuo fat motherfucker. That's on the run and goes to be a monk. I'm sorry. And I'm just confused. See, so uh, I don't like like writing all these old fuckers see, in the writing. I I like certain like I like Edgar Allan Poe and I can read Lovecraft, but mm. some of them are just too much. Like mm. I can handle a bit of, you know, outdated wording. Okay. I yeah. guess. Okay. But outdated wording. Edgar Allan Poe. That is that is more than outdated writing. First of all, <laughs> it's not Shakespeare. Hey guys, what was this cat? <laughs> Don't oh, even yeah. go there. The okay, fucking, what do you mean, the fucking Cody? cat? No, what no, was his cat? That guy is really like Shakespeare's cat. <laughs> do, you, do you really think <laughs> that's bad? That bad guy, failing. He, he was a like Shakespeare's. No, what was it? He was an Edgar Allan Poe's cat. It was a. Uh, it's actually Negro Man with a hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, yeah. has to hyphenate it. <laughs> Negro Man with a hyphen. No, 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 no. It takes the hard <laughs> double double G E R. Okay. Uh, anyway. Yeah. But Edgar Allan Poe, th that's not even the worst of his stuff. He has a story where it's all about a guy trying to get a woman's, like, welfare checks because she's old. She dies, and then he's uh, he keeps her in the attic and still gets the checks. So he decides, hmm, I can't have women over here because it smells like a dead body. I guess I'll just fuck the dead body. What? No, no. <laughs> what gets, logic is that? the Edgar Allan Poe ones where it's super it's fucked helpful. up where he, like, he talks about how these monsters <laughs> well, from not the, really because from if he would have just continent. done that originally. Mm. Yeah. What, what, what was it? The one where these monsters from a bestial continent, like Monkey Men, are coming and That's a, H with their women. Um, <laughs> Was that H.P. Lovecraft or Edgar Allan Poe? Lovecraft. They're a huge I bulk. Think. They would have, like, high five been, like, <laughs> super racist. Are you talking about they, they been like, No, yeah. it was H.P. Lovecraft? Yeah, it was. It was. It was H.P. Yeah. Lovecraft. It was H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft, yeah. Lovecraft, I think yeah. they... Was Edgar Allan Poe as racist? Yes, he was very. It, probably. I would be amazed if There's he wasn't. There's a lot no. of stories See, in See, that's the reason we identify some so well with those grammar, authors. Some they fucking, never like, leave their house. <laughs> some fucking literature um, <laughs> major is gonna be like, Re, You're comparing my two sad parts! No, they're totally different people! You don't understand! They're similar. They're, they, they have a similar writing style. H.P. Lovecraft, Lovecraft is more went about out what isn't understood. H.P. Lovecraft is more like the reincarnation of Edgar Allan Poe. H.P. Lovecraft isn't, isn't even that old, literary speaking, 1930, 40, whatever. Like, that's re recent enough that the English isn't that Poe different. Is he, wasn't yeah. H.P. Yeah. Yeah. Lovecraft went out of his way to write in an unnecessarily flowery way because he got paid by the page or whatever. Right. So that's yeah. why he was like writes... Telegram. That's, that's one of those reasons where people are just like, why did Americans fucking take all the U's out of these cool British words? And it's just like, you Can guys didn't get telegrams until... Yeah. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> I've seen people in Britain complain like, oh, that's a 45 minute drive. I don't want to drive that far. In and, you're, and, and we're just, just like... like, I have to drive six hours to see my parents I drove, three times a year. <laughs> I drove two hours to go to a nice restaurant. I drove just yesterday... Six hours to go see my parents to go to a what is it George hey, Thorogood concert? We got a, We got a unique oh. end logo that we didn't oh, get with the other ending. Cool, dude. Isn't I know. That reminds me of a nineties awesome. Part. Is that uh, the first thing? That also oh, reminds yeah, me of the dragon. I didn't even fucking think about it. That's his wing. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, that's the first. My boss. brain just expanded. I just had a Jimmy Neutron <laughs> brain blast. <laughs> dude, brain um, it's not just the first part. Um, <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot what we were talking about a second ago. Driving really far. Driving and something else. But yeah, people complain about it. It's a way driving. smaller country. Just, in, in general, Europe's just like fucking America. It's just like, yeah, we had to send telegrams did, 600 miles. Did, and like, cost... what's his name? Stephen Fry? Oh, New Sigil. Yeah. Like, Steve, some, friend, like some British like mm, guy. Don't talk about Stephen Fry. Well, <laughs> but he came over to the United States, and one thing he said was, like, I have a whole new appreciation for, like, the Americans now because this fucking driving. We have to build highways. <laughs> 
so everyone's just like, stop using cars, America. Just like, oh yes, oh yeah, we'll okay. just remove. Okay, we'll stop using cars. So we're removing all of our support from NATO to fund a public transit system. That's about thirteen trillion dollars to make. What is this? Seventy thousand miles Literally. of public transportation. It's <laughs> gonna go this way, this way, this way, this we way, this way, this way. We're so far code. apart. Ooh. And I took a picture of that on my phone, and uh, we can go back to the main menu somehow. And we can get and super extra. I wonder how. We gotta hit a button. For yes, that. maybe I will have to go into my SNES's hard uh, drive. Uh, uh, central file central here. mechanism. And just uh, and with this hardware. Eat the special oh, berries. Man, that, uh, what's what's going on? Oh That's fuck! Me. Where's my Where's the emulator? <laughs> oh no! It's oh god. Okay. Uh, um, exposed. Okay. You uh, Jim Carrey. <laughs> All right, you ladies and gentlemen, boys. Are you prepared uh, for this? <laughs> boys and girls, in the next, they're not gonna know what you're talking about now. No, <laughs> you didn't get you didn't get rid of that, did you? No, I. We, we I told we know, told maybe. them we told because them we made in, a promise. This is the in test. the next episode. Who who was the actor who got the hamburger titties? <laughs> If you get this question wrong, you will be docked ten points and you will fail the Dude, test. Dude, it wasn't ten was, points from I Griffin. I think he Wall. showed up in the office as like a se a secondary character or something. I don't know. You, I have to go. It's not Steve it's Carell. One of those that is what I've confirmed. Where I have to go. I thought he was talking. Okay, it's about... not Steve Carell. It's not Will Ferrell. I have to go through a list of every single like fucking sleazy businessman that ever appeared in a movie. Man, in the past you know 10 what? Years. No. To find. I have a better idea. I know his face. I have a better idea. But it's... I don't know his name. I need to calm no, down. No, fuck you. I, you have a, I have a better idea. It was just a conglomerate of every no, office actor. I know actor. exactly who he is. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, though? It's just like, I swear to God, the he office exists. and put it into one man. Okay, go ahead. And that's my yeah. creepy pasta. <laughs> Cody was about to tell a very funny story about a, about a dream that he had. And involved been talking about Jim Carrey, Charles Dance, and a guy from the office. No, I don't think he's from the well, office. It, it wasn't we're really we're the fact... We're protecting your... Like, I like when I'm so protecting your honor, like, I'm fucked up, <laughs> gotta restart your story, and I'm just like... Whoa. It wasn't... Okay. It's we not weren't about... that far in, but whatever. It's not about who the actors are. I about think the fact it, that they were it's extremely poignant that, that like, Charles Dance, this very serious man, hands this you're... man with, like, a giant <laughs> fanny pack made of hamburgers, <laughs> like, <laughs> breast implants. I think that's important. Okay. <laughs> that it so has to be Charles Dance. Right, right, right. Right. Let's do this like we're writing a script. <laughs> Scene. Uh, a large <laughs> antique mall, staff and being shopped in by by actors by who actors. were selling things, like, and it was bizarre. like they were all like Middle Eastern, like stall vendors. They were all trying to sell people's items. I don't know the actor's name, but he goes up and meets Charles Dance. And he just, I, what was the thing that you compared him to? Where do you say he was from? Like The Office? Like that guy from who did like the No God? I don't think that's no, him. no, not him. Charles Dance? No, 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 not Charles Dance. It was another. I thought he replaced the guy that did. No, God, please, no! I thought oh. he replaced him, but that's Will Ferrell in later seasons. I thought of the wrong. I didn't watch character. the office because I'm not a cook. Uh, anyway. The next thing. Holy shit! Happens. Dropping some bombs right there. I don't. I'm yeah, just, just making getting, fun. Just getting his ass kicked while I'm, I'm talking. Uh, really good. Yeah. Uh, you proceeded to get hit by every lunge. It's every, hard. Every, every attack you were getting hit by. What were you saying? So <laughs> see, he's already he's already gone red. You don't even. Have to do Wow, this guy is easier than I was expecting. I guess because I'm just forcing it because I have the fucking time crystal now. Um, so holy now, shit, that guy was they... quite hard the first time I played. Yeah, we, we, the sheriff was like three times. I like the way he sense. lied down there. You can see his butt. You got the piece what? of fire card. <laughs> oh yeah, fine. I guess we did. Another get... fire crest. I remember in the uh, first episode, I said I thought we didn't get the fire crest. So I guess this shows that I didn't quite get this far. Why does an ice wolf have the fire crest? Anyway, Charles Charles dance in this antique mall. He is talking with this group of other actors who are saying, "Don't worry, we'll get him." And they're basically talking about hunting people down and how they're part of an actors guild of. Well, I believe we call it the, the I don't American remember this. Actors Guild for Raping and Pillaging. It, did, it that was not the exact name, but it was I don't very remember. elaborate. And, and apparently, and and apparently this is the thing that I find the most interesting. Nano just knew in the dream inherently <laughs> that it's like this guild that rapes and pillages people is okay. supersedes the UN in power, <laughs> in fucking like yeah. authority, in like jurisdiction. Yeah, so, their jurisdiction so before, supersedes the UN. So that becomes important. And everyone is okay with this. <laughs> It becomes important later because they go to this family house where they have like five dogs and a bunch of kids and it turns out it's 
for some reason Jim Carrey, and I don't know why, my subconscious is like mad at Jim Carrey, I don't get why he's a really fun actor, he's been a little weird recently, but you know, no, I yeah, who knows, I, know he, I mean, I don't know what he's been you're doing, allowed to, you're allowed to believe whatever you want when he's talking, he went to a, he went to like a red carpet interview, and he's just like, so how you been feeling, he's just like, we're all just energy dancing for each other, and it was like, what, ah, uh, oh, here we okay. are, I yeah. believe, Ph Phalanx again, temple? I've never beaten this game, but I believe this is the final stage. Wow, just or destroying priceless mosaics. Holy shit. Are those goblins like loading crossbow chandeliers? Dude, that sounds awesome. Anyway. So, Charles Dance meeting with these actors in the Actors Guild, the, the American Actors Guild of Raping and Pillaging that supersedes the UN for some reason. Oh. Oh, fuck. It's that, it's that god from no, Warhammer 40k. <laughs> the the, the Ch Shegarath. Yeah. Um. Oh, you just fucking say that. Sh Shegarath. <laughs> Dude, you're not allowed to say this. 2019. <laughs> oh, that hurts me even if it's already even playing on the ground. Anyway, he's doing fucking like. What, what are those slides? From? Okay, so Jim Carrey's family uh, right. knew they were coming under attack, and one of the dogs went out to go protect the kids. And, like, like the kids run inside as all these actors are just, like, hitting this animal with a fucking machete. So it's, like, out of the purge. Yeah, it was it was brutal, and they, they, they even had, like, weird outfits on. And I'm not talking, like, purge outfits, where they're, like, wearing masks. They're, like, in clown suits. <laughs> and yeah. fucking, like, Forgot this jester here, he'd be, like, one of them. Another one was, like, was, like dressed as, like, the Hamburglar, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like they didn't have anything that made sense. There was they, they were just awkward, incohesive nonsense, and they were just beating the shit out of this dog with bats and machetes. Really they cut its head off. And meanwhile, Jim the Carrey kids run inside, and all the other dogs are there. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey loads his family in the car, and it's it's like one of those comedic scenes where the car is like stacked, like thirty <laughs> feet with luggage, and when it turns, it goes hard to yeah. and waves. And I'm just like, this is how momentum works. <laughs> this is not a cartoon. And they driving around, and there's a fire going on downtown. And they drive up to the firefighters, and the firefighters are like, "Oh, we'll help you." And then they say the actors guild is attacking us. And, and then the firefighters are like, "Oh shit, sorry, we, we can't help you actually." They it? supersede the UN. We're like, powerless. we, yeah, we yeah, are jurisdiction fucking supersedes the UN. There's nothing these firefighters can do about it. <laughs> these firefighters couldn't help. Like your your plight, you you are on your own in this fight. I'm sorry. We want yeah. to help. <laughs> but they, they drive past some cops and they hit the same thing, and then they drive into a storage facility and hide. And the actors' guild loses them. Well, yeah, and so the, so like all the actors go back to Charles Dance, who's like in charge. And Charles Dance is like, "You better get them next time." He's like, and then the other guy, the like smug guy's like, "Don't worry about it." But give me, no, you say, give me the ham. <laughs> he said, tells Charles Dance, "Don't worry about it. We'll get him. Now give me the hamburger titties." And he had two giant fanny packs in the shape of hamburgers. Like, I'm talking Doki Makura sized fanny packs. Oh, and he yeah. stuffs them with, like, memory foam kind of breast implants. My, my, my favorite part is yeah. just imagining. My favorite part is just imagining Charles' dad's going, mm, yes. And then just, like, pulling he turns out. He the... pulls out these big memory foam hamburger shaped things. I love the bell. It I don't know what that does. I'll come back to it later, I guess. It's the bell. I just right wanted here. everyone to be aware. The bell of now you have to go down to Blight Town yeah, to make the, the other bell. bell. The Dark Souls. Fucking Dark Souls. Dark Souls, Dark Souls compares to Dark Souls! <laughs> this is Dark Souls! I, am, press games. I have gone. I'm going out of my way to never make Dark Souls. Ever again. Don't worry, we'll do it for you. I, <laughs> I, I compared Ratchet and Clank. You weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I also I made a right. reference to that in Ratchet and Clank, so I'm just gonna stop talking about Dark Souls. I'm not even the Dark Souls guy. You are. <laughs> yeah, no, so I don't even like this is the Dark Souls guy. I mean, I'm done. No more Dark Souls. Okay. Fuck so okay, me. after this, you're doing really well with this. Yeah, so after the, over. after the, yeah, he's like pro gamer right now. After he fucking gets the hamburger titties, okay, Jim so Carrey like prepares his house. Does he no, get them? What's he do with the hamburgers? He put, he just put them on. Okay, he, he sealed up the fanny pack kind of thing, and it just was these big jiggling memory foam like. Okay. <laughs> front chest. I don't know. Violently what else. jiggling memory. Okay, foam, like, so. If, you, if we were to look at a list of actors, I could point out exactly who I'm talking about. We could get a picture of them later. There, Everybody. we'll edit that in. There's more editing. Yeah, Let me that, promise sure. things we're not going to do. You, you go ahead. Now, now, you, were just, you were just doing just fine. And now He's got her. Like, <laughs> These guys are fucking hard. Uh, actually, get hit by uh, any of them. Uh, actually, they're not that hard. <laughs> 
Well, anyway, so the, oh, uh, anyway, it's gonna be a car crutch phase, catchphrase. Because every time we just get distracted, like, anyway! Yeah. Um, I don't have a fucking so... shirt put on fucking Etsy, people will buy that. <laughs> anyway. Let's do some merch. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> when the true gamers get it. Um, um so Jim it. Carrey lives in, like, a townhome, two floor townhome in this new place, and he's resettled his family. And then they go in. They're just like, don't worry, we found them. And they go in, and they're all dressed in all their stupid, ridiculous okay. attire, hamburger titties and all. And he goes up, up the, up the stairs to the second floor, and they find his kids there, and they're just sitting there, like, smiling at him, and all the actors are like, are you ready? And then, but then Jim Carrey's fucking head pops through the floor of the, ta of the second story, yeah. and he looks at them, and he says, did you come prepared for this? Then it disappears and pops out of another part of the room. Okay. And he says... Because you're not. And then the dream just went to shit. I only remember parts of it. Jim Carrey it was, was just running a... down the stairs. It was just like this... wearing the the skin of the dog that they beheaded. <laughs> um, the, the next part I remember is an M1 Abrams comes blasting out of the table and he's sword fighting the hamburger titty guy. His, one of his titties is like bleeding foam and shit. I, and then I remember, what is it? Anthony Hopkins came riding in on a horse with reinforcements to fight. And I'm just For like, side? Who's, I think he was with the Actors Guild, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, pretty it just stupid. got insane. It, it, like, it was just this battle royale. It already was insane, oh, but then it just went it was just, it's, it's just a fucking uh, battle royale of everyone trying to kill that, Jim Carrey and his is family. That the part of any, like, like <laughs> insane fever dream that you have. It's when, like, everything's like, oh, oh shit, hi, what's up? It's brother. That's my favorite part of fucking dreams, where it's like, everything's normal at first, and you're like, I can explain the story. And then it just fucking, it 